Hello guys and welcome back to our video series about learning Python async IO using OpenCV and uh, in the previous videos uh, you have already noticed that we are uh, struggling with some queue management for run blocking func functionality or face detection system and uh, as we are here to learn something new I want to show you uh, another approach uh, call, uh, calling that having multiple and consumers uh, with a uh, with a queue management with a, with a queue uh, itself and uh, i want to add and then extra consumers to show the frames uh, only after uh, running through the blocking function so we are going to add some sequential manner uh, for our, for our queue system and show only those frames that uh, already processed by uh, the a face detection system. Why we are doing uh, this here? Uh, I want to show as a uh, side effect how uh, the queue management system can be easily uh, went to, uh, through the, uh, the the multiple consumers and the producers, but uh, it will uh, reduce the performance as well if it's not properly handled. So let's just quickly start and. Uh, Yes, uh, so add some functionality to our project and uh, we'll change it in the next videos but I want to show uh, this thing also uh, to you so yeah for our code change uh, the first thing I want to do is uh, use this uh, queue put no wait for our frame instead of awaiting uh, the queue put uh, this uh, yeah, the another thing is uh, we need to, uh, of course, we need to implement uh, the secondary consumer. So I'm going to define this as uh, consume secondary. And it will accept the queue for sure. And also this captured uh, object. Uh, of course, we need to add this while true oops well true and uh, the same checks goes here uh, I need to get away from running and uh, showing uh, the frame inside the main consumer instead I am going to await uh, directly here uh, for uh, inside the secondary consumer mm, also there's no need for this uh, instead I'm going to put it here and uh, for the else class of course the same uh, applies here so uh, we are indicating that we are done uh, why uh, by awaiting I think I sleep here and we don't need this um, this uh, async I await instead I am going to await task 2 here uh, this will uh, slow down our uh, overall system because it will get uh, the frames only awaiting through the, after this task 2 and the task 2 is a blocking function uh, but it will give you a proper queue management so there's there will be no freezing but instead it will slow you down so yeah that's 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 a case why i uh, want to show you this approach as well so this is a, a main consumer this is a secondary consumer and we have one producer so we, you can even have multiple producers but not now um, uh, remaining thing is uh, creating this consumer consumer secondary secondary task and of course we are going to create a sync create task create task and this is a consume secondary function it accepts uh, accepting uh, this queue and the captured 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 object i'm going to give a name so this is secondary consumer let's just um yeah let's just do it here and uh, we need to pass it to the gather as well so do not forget to do this uh, what what we have rem we are remaining here is uh, yeah I want to also uh, uh, call this await async um, async IO sleep uh, here as well 
Uh, let's see what's going on and um, the remaining thing. So, oh yeah, uh, forcing to show only uh, on, on the process frame if mm, we need to add this uh, if check here. So if the last element this of the frame object is true, just show the frame. So uh, keep in mind that when we produce a frame, we put the list object with the camera name, frame itself, and the last element with none. So there's none indicating that this is a fresh frame. But after uh, processing through uh, the face detection, we update this last element to true. It indicates that we have already processed it uh, through our inference. And uh, that's why I'm checking here uh, that show me only the process frames. That's it. Nice. Uh, so I don't think that something remained here. Let me just uh, see the face detection as well. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, nothing. So this is a current frame. Uh, mm -hmm. Nice. So let's just check it quickly and see if it works or not. Uh, it should be laggish, but uh, but at least we will not freeze with our queue. So yes, as you notice that uh, we are struggling with lags now. So previously we have implemented the queue system to speed up our mm, the project also as this asynchronous support because we do not want this synchronous manner. But uh, in this video I want to show you that uh, you can uh, force your asynchronous code to be synchronously by uh, Adding, adding this extra consumer and also awaiting uh, this blocking function inside the main consumer. Uh, so in the next videos we will fix it for, uh, we will fix it definitely, but this is a trade-off. So if you want to show uh, the uh, ROIS, how to say this, uh, and this region of interest uh, on the frame and it's, it's a time consuming blocking function, uh, it will take it some amount of time, so there is no way to cancel it, uh, to get rid of it, uh, I would say. But uh, you can implement something like uh, running the, uh, this blocking function in the background, not showing the region of interest, but instead uh, to show the print statements uh, that, hey, I have detected the face, and uh, in the real time show the frames itself, uh, by no, not by affecting uh, uh, this uh, blocking function, uh, but at least we have a proper management here because, uh, as you see, let me cancel it. Uh, so as you see, we have uh, one uh, one frame at, at a time processing one frame at a time uh, from the consumer and the producer uh, will put the frame, and after a while we are uh, going through going through this face detection, put it back to the queue. Uh, this is how uh, the secondary consumer can be used in your projects uh, with, uh, with a, to implement the proper uh, queue management, so not freezing with when the queue is full. Uh, well, enough talking. So let's see, in, in, uh, let's see you in the next video and uh, yeah, we will definitely improve this approach to work uh, to speed up yeah see you in the next video bye